Shadow of Judgment. Hello, everybody. For anyone who's new, this is the Shadow of Judgment spread for a particular group of signs. We do air, fire, um, water, earth, heart. By your powers combined, we are Captain Planet. Okay, I'll stop now. But yeah, this is where I go in week by week, see what's going on in the backgrounds you might not be aware of, what you might be subconscious to, what might be scheming, what dark things you might be doing, what your shadow side is up to. Basically, the little nook and cranny things to watch out for that you probably weren't paying attention to beforehand. First is water. Water signs, you're up first. Cancer, we're going with you because you're always the first one. Let me go grab a cup of my beautiful fucking coffee. Alright, so I figured this out, right? I can drop like five F-bombs and four shits per video before they, they're just like, yeah, you're not getting ads on this. <laughs> just saying, there you are, Cancer, but you, you're trying to steady yourself with your emotions. But, um, oh, that's so crooked on the camera, and that's gonna drive me nuts, but that's okay. Alright, that's a little bit better. Anyway, <laughs> you seem like you're dealing with trying to deal with yourself in a lack of communication somewhere. Oh, yes, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, water signs. So look at your charts and figure it out. If you're not a water sign, you might got this shit in here if it resonates. Or you are the person this sign is dealing with. If it resonates, good deal. If it does not, don't worry about it. After all, this is just a card game. It won't work if you don't believe in it. Queen of Swords, I think you're being decisive with not communicating, Cancers. This could also be a Pisces or a Scorpio you're dealing with as well, but someone is definitely just being like, no, I'm not communicating. Fuck that. Wasn't it last week you guys had something come up or somewhere? Like, I can't remember what it was exactly, but you're something about a warning. I feel like it was a warning or some shit. I don't know. Oh, you're trying to get out of some bad vibration, some bad energy, and you don't want to communicate because you know it's going to lead to fighting. A lot of petty arguments, so you're being decisive with that. So that's good, at least. That's a very, very good thing. Unfortunately, your decisiveness is based on arrogance. You are... Okay, Cancers, look it. I'm a Capricorn. The re how I work is, I look back at the past to, like, figure shit out, right? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. That's the old saying, right? You guys have foresight like a motherfucker. You guys can see shit before it ever happens. It, like, you're really good at, like, planning stuff out ahead of time. That is, like, your biggest thing. Like, Capricorns, like, we're good with long-term investments, but we're really not good with starting something and seeing where it goes from there. We just kind of wing it and then, like, add on and be like, all right, I know how this works now. You know, we work with history, you guys work with the future, but I feel like... I feel like you're staying away from communication because it's you who would start the argument. Like, you have a... There's something that's just under your fucking skin, and it's got you like, you know what, I could just, like, piss all over your goddamn coat and wouldn't feel bad about it. And uh, But I feel like you wouldn't do that. You would just tell somebody you did and, like, pour water on it. And add a little ammonia and just be like, look, I pissed on your jacket. And the person will believe you. And I feel like you're trying to avoid causing more shit than what actually is. Um, ooh. Ooh. Damn, cancer. Okay. Um. Cancer. Uh, what the fuck is... What the okay, you guys always have, like, some crazy... You're almost like Libra. There's always something going on with you that just makes me want to sit here and be like, I want to ask all of you what the fuck is going on, because this is, like, amazing. <laughs> Sometimes I look at your guys' cards, and it's just like, what have you guys gotten yourselves into? Mm -mm -mm. You have yourself in a situation where you feel like you got out of something bad... But it's like, once you start getting your head straight out of this, you're probably dealing with a Capricorn, um, you realize that it's something almost like you did it to yourself, or you feel like, or you're doing that whole, like, victim thing that you guys are really good at. Like, you guys can play victim like a motherfucker. You really can. 
Like I, I like I can't do that. Like that's just like no, 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 no. I, I, I can't cry on command because then I'll actually start meaning it. This is the no go. But it's almost like you're blaming yourself for this toxic relationship that you, I feel like, had to walk away from because someone just outbested your mind, really. And because they outbested your mind, you really feel like it's a better choice to just not say anything at all. But you're doing this from a position of ego with the king of wands here. Could also be um, Leo, Sag, Aries, also Libra. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in this, Capricorn, you, Scorpio, Pisces. We also got um, Aries over here, Aquarius as well. Um, meanwhile, over here, this lack of communication where there would be arguments, I feel like is still causing conflict. And whoever this emperor reverses right here, it could be you or it could be the other person, but they're looking the other way. Like, they don't want to engage in the arguments either, but they feel like that this lack of communication is to an argument. Like, you know, um, maybe they feel like, Cancer, you're not speaking up, and because of that, they feel like it's still a fight, you know? Like, you might not even be, like, trying to do anything to agitate them, but they're still looking at it like, you know what, I'm just sick of your shit, right? So be careful with this emperor person, Okay. Because I feel like they're the person who manipulated you and you're just now figuring out how they damaged you more by causing you to do it to yourself. Because I think they, they tricked you into hurting yourself. Um, almost like isolating or alienating yourself. Um, friends, family, all that jazz, right? But that's your shadow of judgment. Um, cancers, be very careful. That better be my damn neighbor. Or our car. My car? That better not be my fucking car. <laughs> I'll take that bitch and go somewhere. I don't give a shit. Alright, Scorpio! You are next. I might have to end up going to the door, so you'll probably have to be patient, guys. I'm sorry. Well, I should be able to, like, do what I want. Um, Scorpio! You got a broken heart and a booty call. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you booty calling a broken heart, man? Because you got secrets in between there. Um, you want a proposal to stay, but at the same time, you know, this beauty call isn't going to work out. And this, this, whatever the secrets are, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. Um, there's something about back in the day. There's something about back in the day here where, um, it's like, actually, hmm. Sorry, I just now saw that my neighbor came home, so I gotta text my husband. Cause you know, that's what we do in this household. We watch out for our mans. I just literally got finished with all of my fucking personals today. Mind you, I probably won't take personals for the next week and a half, so I'll let you guys know when I do. And I'll probably keep repeating that until I can do personals. Cause I'm gonna be doing a full five day week stretch including my um, two doubles, so I'm not going to have the energy to do that, but I will still do my readings for you all because I love you. But not in that way, but in more like a, like, you know, we're cool kind of way, but not in that way, you know, like, I I'm married. <laughs> all right, let's see what else is going on with you, Scorpio. You got the Knight of Cups, ooh. Okay, like, you were looking for something to give you a reason to stick around, and it didn't come, so you were like... <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. That's number three, by the way. Ooh, this dude's not looking at this shit either. Seems like you water signs are dealing with some fire. Well, you guys could also be in your whole element, because, like, what is it? Mars is in Cancer, and the Sun's in Cancer. It's Cancer season. So, like, you know, this is the time where you go sit in the corner, pull a hoodie over your head, and you have a good cry, because this is the time when you deserve a good cry. Or at least that's what I like to say, because, like, I, I, I have cancer friends, and I like making fun of them for that. Uh, okay, let's see about your shadow of judgment, Scorpio. 
What I got for you right now is, hmm. Yeah, you were trying to get away from this uh, whole, this motherfucker broke my heart even when I stuck around when I shouldn't have, and now I gotta like, be that ass, you know? And this had something to do with the home. Like, either you wanted to keep something home, or you wanted to feel at home, or something. You know? And all these secrets that lie in the past, you're moving away from after you looked at it carefully. And it's like, you know, booty call, man. Didn't do the trick. In fact, he probably left disgruntled because, you know, like, you didn't give him what he wanted. You, like, he might have wanted a reaction from you, and you just went with the thousand yards down, like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, why don't you go do something useful instead of, like, trying to get me to emotionally react to you so you feel better about your bitch ass? You know, you could have done that one thing. You know, it's very rare when you see a Scorpio actually give someone their feelings. Um, the only time I've ever known a, a Scorpio to really tell somebody how they feel is when they're drunk. And that's either when they tell you that they like you, or it goes along the lines of, you know what, there's just something I wanted to tell you, and this is exactly why I don't like your ass. You know, you talk a lot of shit, you bitch all the time, you you never respect, you know, but Scorpio will come out with shit when they're drinking. Be careful when you drink with the Scorpio. Because <laughs> you guys are really vicious when you want to be. But I feel like you're doing this based on the fact that you want to be happy. You want to have completion with your own emotions and have validations on what is and is not. And I feel like this emperor has been keeping you from feeling that way because, you know, he's booty call man. He's been getting booty. And now that he, I think he's not getting booty and it's not working for him, like, he's just looking the other way while you're trying to look for something that's home. That's your shadow of judgment, Scorpios. Pisces, you're next. Let's see what the cards have for your shadow of judgment, shall we? What the fuck were you guys dealing with? I can't even remember. Like, something about apology. Or something like that. Like, apology would lead to loves. I don't know if it'll happen this week, though, but we'll, we're gonna give it a shot. We are going to give this shit a shot. Ah. I keep fucking them up. And I'm not meaning to. There we go. Okay. So far, we got a Queen of Pentacles and someone getting exactly what they wish for. This might be you. This might be you as well. You might be getting exactly what the fuck you want faithful spouse. She'll do anything for you. And you're getting everything you need, but there's something behind that curtain. You know the one thing I love about you, Pisces? You guys always see, like, different angles to shit that most people wouldn't look at. And in some ways, you get along with people like me who are Capricorns. And sometimes Capricorns just make you want to burn the earth because we're really down to earth. But I, I don't know. It's like when a Scorpio, when a Capricorn and a Pisces comes together, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just imaginations flow, and I feel like you're kind of flowing with this, because there is a Capricorn here, a tur uh, Taurus, Tory, okay, Taurus, or a Virgo here, and then there is a wish fulfillment. Uh, but, mm, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, someone is fucking nettled? Someone is so nettled. Someone is just like, you know, um, I... Yeah, yeah, someone's just angry. I don't know why, though. Mind games were being played. Someone's looking at what's been sown. This dude with the bad attitudes giving out offers. There's grief. Um, trying to figure out what it is that it is. Like, I don't understand what I don't understand, you know? Like, one of those things. It's just like... Ooh, you're definitely trying to, like, look at where you are in all this shit. And I think you kind of jumped somebody. Just a tad. Just just enough for them to remember that, you know, you don't shit in my living room floor. That's how you guys feel sometimes. I'll tell you, and I, and I seriously meant it the last time I said, you guys are scary when you're angry and you want to fight people. I would, mm, mm No, no, no. You guys just do whatever it is you do. I'll just be in the background recording it for you. 
and then showing it off to your friends, just being like, they kick some ass. Right? <laughs> Let's see, Pisces. Wish fulfillment. I feel like you're happy that you bested someone and then it's just like, you know what? I really regret not offering something to this guy. Once again, could be the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Also up here, who, you know, you're kind of looking at and it's just kind of like, you know what? Maybe, like, this could be you, but I feel like this is, like, how you felt before. Like, it's like you're looking over at when you felt your best, and it's like you're alone now. And this dude, you know, the King of Swords, he's all nettled, but he did make an offer, and you were just like, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> no, 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 no. But... The thing is, you're regretting it. Like, you did best them mentally. You did send them off. You were just like, you know what? You just need to fuck off. And that's what something that you wanted. But now it's like you're regretting it because temperance coming together with somebody. It's like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like you thought you wanted something. And then when it finally, you got it, all of a sudden it, you were just filled with loss and feeling like you should have made an offer somewhere. So I'm not sure what that means, Pisces, but that's your shadow judgment for this coming week, man. Actually, I'm going to pull one more card because I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull a few. Actually, I'm going to get vice versa. I'm going to cheat. I'm sorry, Ryder. It's just for a second. I just want to know because it's like... I just want to know if anything will come from that because that's like a really weird energy to have. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, yeah, I got the separation part. But it's left in the dark. You feel like you're good on your own. Like you're set up. You got money. You got funds. You ain't worried for nothing. You've trained rabbits and birds to like sing with you in musicals that you once watched on Disney. And you all do it perfectly. In sync every time. But you feel like you're just entertaining people around you too. You feel like you've been played for a fool and it's almost like that's not like you're almost right but it's almost like not right like the right judgment call so i don't know but that's your shadow of judgment pisces everyone thank you for watching my video like i said it'll be like a week and a half before i take readings again but um you can go ahead and send me an email i'll let you know like what date i'll get to your reading or i'll at least try to be like um I'm sorry I forgot because I got the memory of a goldfish because that's just what happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, my, my email is down in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations, so no worries about that. No rush or anything like that. Um, also, I was going to say something else and I totally just forgot, so never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoy yourselves and take care. Bye-bye.